is two and a half years old, and while his peers can walk, talk, and eat, Eli Jenkins can do none of those things. In fact, doctors have so far been unable to diagnose him. Yeah, but just this week, a huge surprise for the Central Florida boy. Fox 45's David Martin has his amazing story. Up, up, up. We are in this unknown realm, Eli Jenkins. We are still seeking a diagnosis, and I, I can't say that I will stop. Janelle Jenkins has taken her son Eli to every ologist out there. And I think, wow, surely with all this thorough testing, you've got to uncover something. But alas. Uh oh, need to stop. Eli is rare, very rare. We've been told that it's. Um, severe to profound mental retardation. But that's just a symptom. We know it's a genetic um, neuro-metabolic type disease. Despite numerous muscle and skin biopsies, spinal taps, and six MRIs, Eli has remained undiagnosed. Each um, thing that we don't uncover is progress, if that makes sense. And yet Eli still can't walk, talk, or eat by mouth. Janelle's quest to find the cause of her son's condition got the attention of the National Institutes of Health. Talented doctors from the NIH's Human Genome Research Program picked up the tab for Eli and his mother to spend this week getting thoroughly analyzed for the brand new Undiagnosed Diseases Program. We're just going to do everything we can to learn as much as we can. And her tenacity paid off. Just 48 hours ago, doctors gave Janelle the news she never thought would come. A rare turn of events. A diagnosis for Eli. She joined us tonight via satellite from Washington, D.C. It's a very rare metabolic disease, which um, basically his body is unable to process fats and proteins and break them down for energy. So as we're feeding him, um, toxins develop in his body. So it's basically poison building up. At this point, um, we can't undo that damage, but we've caught it early enough to where we hope to make some good progress. Doctors don't want her to release the name of the disease yet. They need two months to confirm their findings. But the good news, Eli is already on treatments for it. It's been an unbelievable journey, and it's just, it, it's a happy ending, I would say. There is no cure for what doctors believe Eli has, but despite all the poison Eli's been fighting for two years, they do believe he will walk, talk, and eat on his own. For his mom and dad, that is a huge development. Bob and Sonny, as we know, knowledge is power, and this week's big news is going to help the Jenkins family beyond comprehension. Let me, let me just clarify here. There's no cure for what he has, but is it manageable and we can go on to perhaps have a normal life? Well, normal is right. 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 Okay. But he's walking, talking, and eating the big guy. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. And right now he's on a feeding tube. Okay. So, uh, you know, one step at a time here. But no, well, great news for the family, well, though. We've been waiting for information. I can't imagine what, what that would have been like. And no. they come back from the NIH tomorrow. Right. And two more months, they go back at the D.C. for uh, some more confirmation on a diagnosis. So